Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We are doing a home refresh in one of our uh, bedrooms that we have used as my office slash storage area. This is where we keep all of our decor and a bunch of other stuff. So we are gonna paint this wall Aaron and I are moving all of this stuff into the hallway. He also took quite a bit of things and just put them in his storage building. So we're going to clear all this out. Then I'm going to clean the wall and we're going to get into the painting. So once I got done doing the floors, I'm just going to move into the walls and we are dusting these just to get them clean, including the ceiling as well. This chomp worked for the ceiling. We have popcorn ceilings, so I was curious of like, what is the best way to clean these? And I got a lot of good suggestions like uh, vacuuming, using a broom and then i just figured i would try this today and it worked also so i'm going to be all over the house getting those uh ceilings clean because we're going to paint them as well i'm actually online right now looking for windows because we need our windows replaced and it seems like windows themselves aren't very expensive but i will want somebody to install it I don't know how that works, um, but I'm seeing like different windows around the like a hundred dollars. This looks a little bit similar to the one we have in our house. 30 by 53 lap aluminum vertical slide window. That seems like what we have. It's 143. So you can tell that we're just kind of... <laughs> getting things in motion that way over time it's just all done so the paint i'm using is the valspar uh 2000 interior paint and primer eggshell the shade is high hide white what else was i wanting to do okay so the plans for this room which is our first bedroom in our hallway uh, we're going to paint the whole thing white just to make it easy and then I'm going to take out the carpet which will be after we do our bedroom because that's like top priority. We're going to take out the carpet and put peel and stick down just like we did in the hallway because this is where my cats use their litter box and even with the tray that I have sitting out in front of their litter boxes uh they get those little granules on the floor and they're hard to vacuum with the carpet. So definitely replacing this floor with just a regular peel and stick. And then I can get a rug or something to go in here if I want it. Um, okay, bedroom. We will go do the shopping for the materials on the 30th of December. So very excited for that date save the date 
And then December 31st, we will start the project. We'll start putting the subfloor down. We're gonna take out the carpet and the foam that was underneath the carpet. And we're gonna put down the plywood and we'll get a, a thicker one. I think they're around $21 for a, a four by six, I believe is the measurement of that or a four by eight. You may be able to get different lengths, <laughs> but we're gonna get a bunch of those. I figured out the expenses for that. Plus the, we're gonna get a nail gun and nails. And there was one more thing. Oh, the peel and stick flooring, of course. <laughs> so that will be the 31st of December. Can't wait. I'm so excited that we're actually able to do that within the month of December. And we don't have to wait till January. Like I had thought we were going to need to wait till January to do that. But it seems like we're good to go. We're in a good window. Like we're, I want to do this now or else I'm going to talk myself out of it again. Okay, so something that we are going to do that's different than what you have seen us do. Normally, when we do our subfloor, we will take out the old subfloor if it's damaged, like in our bathroom. We, we took out all of it, I think, and then replaced the whole thing. With the bedroom, we're actually going to put the new subfloor on top of the old subfloor. The reason we will be doing this mainly is for um, Erin. I want to make all these projects as easy as possible on the both of us physically, uh, especially Erin, because he has ankylosing spondylitis, which is a rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, it's an autoimmune disease. His immune system attacks his uh, joints, uh, he had a full hip replacement when he, uh, I don't even think he was 30 yet. Uh, and the doctor said he normally replaces hips of people that are like 65. And that was the worst hip he had ever seen because it was uh, his actual like, I don't know. It's the long bone that is in your thigh. It was up in his hip area because uh, there was nothing in between to keep like the ball or the joint was just gone. So it was bone on bone. It was, it was rough. Um, he's doing better now. He still has a, like an arch in his back. Um, and, but, but that's just, you know, it just looks like it hurts, but he does, his medication helps manage his body. And then also him being able to be home and rest and you know be as little active as possible really helps him feel good so that's why he's home and that's why um he you know he i say like he plays this game a lot he does that kind of stuff it's it's intentional like just allowing him to relax and make sure that the wear and tear that goes on his body in the future is, you know, as little as possible. So I would recommend taking out the old subfloor and putting a new subfloor down. But because of his physical ailments, we're going to put the 
new wood on top of the old wood. We just got to clean it. And, you know, if there's pieces that really just need to come off and they come off easily, we'll go ahead and do that. But um, I've seen other people do it online. So I know it can be done. And we're going to get a nail gun. And I don't know if, I guess you have to use nails in there. He, he mentioned a nail gun. If we're going to do it that way, he wants to have a nail gun. That way he can just make sure that it's secured to the actual, like what's underneath that other subfloor. And that's the reason why you would generally want to take the subfloor out. That way you know what you're screwing into and it's uh, secured. But this way... We'll just, you know, it will be secured because we're just going to put them everywhere. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do the peel and stick on top of that. And we're going to get a new bed and a new bed frame. So once we get the plywood in there, we're going to get rid of our, uh, what do you call it? box springs that are on the very bottom of our bed those pinstripes i'm sure some of y'all know what i'm talking about because i do not have a bed skirt on the bed um i had one on there at one point it got dirty i washed it and never put it back on because <laughs> it's so hard to move the mattress by yourself um but i'm excited save the dates i'll we'll do the shop with me video on the 30th and then we will post the at least a first update of the bedroom on the 31st where we're putting the plywood on the old old plywood so that'll be a lot of fun can't wait um we're also gonna of course get the carpet out of the closet and replace that with the new subfloor and then we'll put the peel and stick down so i don't know if the peel and stick will go down in the same video but if not it will just go up the next day i'm planning on just doing more of these videos uh so normally i would do just one a week but i'm going to do them just as often as i can uh on top of sharing the homemaking and decorating videos so stay tuned if you like the cleaning decorating decluttering i want to do a lot of decluttering this year coming up organizing all sorts of fun things <laughs> um by the way because we are getting rid of the carpet in here uh I, I was not worried about getting paint on the actual carpet i tried not to but of course i wanted to get that little trim down there so i did get some paint on there but it's okay because everything is getting painted this color i hope they still have it in stock because i think i'm gonna need another one because <laughs> we've got all these walls i did not paint over the plug because you can tell the one on the top is burnt and we need to know which which ones are burnt so that we don't use them that's a another thing on our list um after we get done with our bedroom the next like very necessary thing is the windows and honestly, the front door frame, uh, which I'm either going to get somebody to replace that or I'll just figure out how to do it myself. When we're way out here Oh, I, I, oh, I
All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back tomorrow with the part two. I'm going to put the second coat on everything that we painted today. That way it will be all good and we can start doing the other wall another day. My goodness. <laughs> but um, after tomorrow's video, I will have a, a weekly grocery haul and meal plan for y'all. I'm actually going to go do that today um, and finish painting today. So I'll be busy over here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Maybe.